Okay. I want you all to close your eyes and think of different possibilities of situations you can get yourself into. Different chances of something happening. Infinite replayability. With so much of different outcomes of happening every run. That is a genre that is called roguelikes. And, well, roguelites, roguelike, whichever one you want to go with. But that is my favorite genre. Just because there's so many things that can happen within the roguelike area. Like randomly generated infinite replayability. Every time you do go through a different run, you'll get something different. You'll get the best run you ever had, or you'll get the worst one. You'll get the best run you ever had and somehow still lose, or you'll get the worst run of characters you ever had and somehow still win. That is roguelike. Everything is random and is out of your control. With that said, I found a really interesting game that has piqued my interest towards the art style of it. And that is Vivid Night. When I was scrolling through Steam, I was sitting here like, oh my God, I love the coloring and the character designs inside of this, just from like the screenshots. And I wanted to try it out just because this is a roguelike. I do need to change the audio. Holy crap, that is loud. Oh, I can go above? Jeez, that's all you had to say? Oh, my next startup? Okay, that's pretty freaking rude of you. With that being said, we're gonna try this game out. Uh, I'm also gonna be doing a different style of editing for my videos, just to get people more interested. Instead of like, you know, straight up showing gameplay, we're gonna skip around a little bit, you know, get in some more time for our videos and show off the game a little bit more. So if you guys actually enjoy this editing style a lot more, feel free to leave a like. Let me know how you guys feel about the game. And without further ado, is Wolf your one and only? And how are all my adventures doing? Welcome to Vivid Night. Oh no, it seems like we've escaped. So we're basically a princess who escaped the castle. Oh, oh no. Their friends have been turned into crystals. Dude, this is so sad. Can we reach 100 likes? <laughs> so in a nutshell, our friends have been turned into crystals. And we have taken it upon ourselves to go fight, I guess, the demon king or demon lord. And transform our friends back is what I'm guessing. But you know, hey. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, so we have moon co move cost up here. So this is mana. Oh, it's kind of like the darkest dungeon in a way. And a few other games that have like stamina in a way. Um, Let's say there is, what was it called? Oh no, I have it in my head and I don't remember. Uh, there, It was something crown. It was something crown. Oh no. I, I know it. It's Guilty Crown? No. No, that's an anime. Where what it uh... It was Mad Crown. I, I totally didn't look that up. I swear to God, I, I didn't look it up. I already knew it. Sometimes when you enter the room, you will also trigger a battle automatically. Okay, that's interesting. So the gameplay is automatic. But I think as you go on, you actually get to pick skills for your characters. Oh, okay. So we can pick from a new character or we can upgrade the character we already have. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna take the burn. No, the true damage or true strike and stun. Oh, it's Oh, it stuns to myself. Wait, what? Why do I, why do I stun myself? Okay. Okay, the gist of this. Collect three of the copies and upgrade the character that you have. Okay. 
symbols, scrap them for coins. More coins equals unlock. Got it. Oh, we found a key. All right, we have found the key. So our job is to find a key, go back to the floor that we need. Oh, what's that? So 30 damage to the enemy in front. Oh, and I think we just randomized ourselves. Oh no, we went down into the dungeon. Okay, that's what it was. Well, we're confusing myself. I gotta say, these, this game has, like, very vibrant colors, and I just vibe with it so much. Okay, so this is infinite use. I can keep using this myself. So I'll gain more skills as I go. Oh, okay, I'm liking that. Okay, I think I can upgrade here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, all right, I'll just, I'll just go fuck myself. Thank you. Okay, we've upgraded. Burn 14. T oh, burn, burn 14 to two enemies. <laughs> we have dot damage now, boys. Okay, I found the key. We're almost out of stam as well. I just want to be I know, we found the boss. Oh, okay. She she one shot at him. Dude, freaking first try, easy. But this is the tutorial, so you know this is supposed to be easy. But whatever, we have the right manner. Oh, is this supposed to unlock more characters? I guess? <laughs> am I doing a summoning? I am. Uh, let's see. Bestow craft mages. Oh. Yeah, bestow craft mage. What is craft mage? Increase magic damage dealt on enemies by 1% value. I guess that's interesting. The effects of your necklace activate twice. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, this character deals damage to one enemy. Bestows an elixir to self and the ally in front. So the elixir recovers 50% HP. Ooh. I like, but eh. So can we only unlock one thing out of that? I think. Yeah, I think it's only one thing you can unlock out of all that. Oh, I can freeze. Freeze all enemies. Okay, I'm kind of liking to get. Oh, but. Freeze them all for 12 instead of 8. Wait. The afflicted will deal less physical damage to enemies. Okay, so I guess that weakens them a little bit. Oh, okay. It can be increased too. We can see the increased parts of it. I guess that's pretty nice. What is exorcism? Oh, lowers magic defense. Um, shit. I think I'm gonna take. I mean, it says quick. Has a chance to trigger by acting. Acts first, regardless of agility. I'm taking that. Dude, I'm liking all the little characters for this. It's interesting to see. Now uh, we're gonna take the necklace. Well, the earrings. Where the hell did I get necklace in my head? New game. Okay, so there's other characters to start with. So I'm guessing this is the. Oh, uh, which is maid maze. So I'm guessing. Oh, it's a wish that turned our friends into crystals. Oh, no, I'm spoiling story. Oh, no. 
All the story you all could go see for yourself is getting spoiled now. Okay, let's see. So we have Sunder, which decreases defense. We have Counter, which deals burn damage and bestows barrier. Ooh, I like you. Let's go up. Okay, I found the necklace. Bestow eight healing upon allies. Okay. At this point, I'm making a home burn team. Purely out of coincidence, I swear. <laughs> you fool! I am running out of a uh, step so. Oh, okay. So that doesn't go. Okay, sure. Whatever. I like this. Okay. First symbol. Jesus. Okay. Now we have our burn team. Oh, what's this? Take a ring. Take a necklace. Take an earring. Let's take an earring. Yeah, I was hoping we would get the random one. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Use key. What is that? Ooh, restores mana. My eyes! Uh, wait, what? There's one more symbol to activate. Let's try to get... Oh, I I guess, but then he, there's him. <sighs> fine, dude, fine. I, I didn't want him, but during the game's just like, hey, take him now. <laughs> Alright, we found the key. Key is for me. All shall taste my wrath of my burn team, alright? Yes, I know, game. Now we have you. Let me use this. Is this the one where I fight an enemy? Okay. Oh, it's at the end of it. Okay. Fair enough. Apparently, you're supposed to navigate through these things like perfectly, really. Without wasting energy and having to go back. So far, seems like we're going to be totally fine. I probably jinxed the hell out of that, but you know, I'm all about that. Oh, wait, do I just burn him on Sark? No more tracks have a chance of freezing. Okay, it's actually a decent thing that we uh, actually took him in. Oh, wait, what are you? Alchemist. Oh, so you have skills in here. Oh. Well, being appropriate burn team, I'm taking... Uh... Well... Eh? What? Well. Give me the burn. Oh, okay, it's randomized anyway. Okay. <laughs> Let's take the hill. Let's take the hill again. Did I get one more hill?
No, really, I would like that last feeling, please. Okay. I see how this is gonna go. Feels bad, mate. Anywho. Uh, on a bright side, more mana! <laughs> so I can explore. Okay, a jeweler. We can take you. Okay, yeah, we only need one more. Purchase. Uh, purchase you as well. You're a how, how dare you? The burnt team shall live on. All right, Nick shall floor. So we're at the boss now, huh? So do we need three of her as well? I'm guessing so. Ooh, my summonings. Okay, there's more enemies as we go. That's what I like to see. Uh, maybe I should swap. Oh, I can't change my team around. Oh, no. I wanted to put him back in the front. So I actually have to go to a jeweler if I want to put him in the front. Here we go. Yes. Wait. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can we, can we... Aha! There we go. We've done it. We now have a gold star. I am now wasting a lot of mana. And I think we can beat the boss with this now. Uh, there's no more areas. So I think this is it. <laughs> Behold my barrier, fool! Burn team rules all. Okay, so it doesn't keep going. You just pretty much complete that run, then go ahead into a different run. That's interesting. This one seems nice. Oh, you can only use it two times, though. This one is paralyzing. I'm going to take the heals. Because you never know when you can use a heal. Wait a minute. There's still Godspeed. What does Godspeed do? Grants a chance. Oh, I can get the chance of acting twice. Along with True Strike. Guarantees your skill will activate as well. Okay, so reduces cooldown of my gems by one. That's pretty cool. I want you. Okay. Okay, I gain an additional 10 upon starting the game. Or there's shield and spike. Ooh, spike damage. I think I want spike damage, really. But yeah, that that has been a little bit of vivid night. If this game interests you all in any type of way, oh, 
It actually keeps the track of my runs. That's actually pretty neat. Do try it out. I like its art style. It, it looks very, very amazing. And if you all want more of this, let me know down in the comments. Leave a like and show your support for it. Until then, peace out.